Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at his face. No, I'm like going red, eh? Hey? <laughs> you are going red. That's awesome. Awesome to meet you, man. You too, mate. Really good to meet you. Yeah, you too. That's the way. Great. So, you got right. some cool stuff, eh? I have. Yeah, nice. Look at those cats' uh, premiers boards. That's pretty sick. You're a cats man, are you? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Now, what I've done here for you is too. Yeah. It's sort of just broken it up into shows. Yeah. That's epic. Sort of thing. So, nah. this is sort of like your TV shows. That's brilliant. And. True Detective. I've been watching you with your BBCs and oh mate, BBCs and, and, and your just ITVs. And ITV, so you know. Yeah, and they're all True Detective. Yeah, it's a couple of seals up. And... Yeah, no, that's really really cool. It's awesome. And uh, were you saying that you were um, what's what's that one there? Is that a Wii or something? That's the Wii I was telling you about. Yeah, okay. That's the game I played once. Cracked the shits, put it back in the box, <laughs> and it's been there ever since. Yeah, this right. This one's actually sealed with everything in it. Yeah, gotcha. And everything is in the pack. Oh, you got the full way. Put it all back in the box. I actually had the box. Wow. Couldn't find the Xbox. Okay. You got the controller. But got the original. I found that controller, and that's been put away because we had a heap of kids that used to play it all the time. Right. Okay. And I wanted one that worked. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Oh, epic. You got some really cool stuff, and then you got all these Xbox games. Now, these ones here yep. haven't got the manuals. Okay. These have all got the manuals. Jeez, you're organised. You're organised. I've been through everything, all the DVDs and all that. They're all in the right boxes. You fine tooth combed it. I've also um, got something else to show you too a bit later on with the um, with the uh, Com games. So. Com games. Yeah, nice. Don't well, forget, I'm here to help you guys out. So. Oh, mate, this is incredible. You're going to do a great price. Oh, I appreciate it, mate. This is really kind of you to lay it out so neatly. Yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, that good. one, I reckon that one, uh, there's a, I haven't seen this one. Yeah, they're coming to work. Like I said, I'm, I've been at Garbo for years, so. So is a lot of this found through work? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How good um, is that? We used to do a lot of apartments and that, like um, uni apartments. Yep. And a lot of the overseas guys, they just leave their stuff and go. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And I used to find laptops and, and everything. So And eBay selling as well or No 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 no. no, no nothing no. at all eBay. No. No. Oh, yeah. He used to be a pro. There you go. Hey, yeah, wow. Backyard wrestling, I've never heard of that. And obviously people would be after them because they're from the first series. Yeah, okay. And also the the tin here as well. The tin there's got some stuff in it too. That's actually got oh, yeah. one inside of there as well, so they're all Remember those hats you bought from the flea market? And I remember thinking, why would you buy them? And you sold them for like hundreds. 330. What hats were they? They were the Mutiny Bundaberg Rums. That's so crazy. Yeah. I've actually got some other ones from Urban Alley Brewery. Oh, okay. The beer related hats seem to go really well. Well, I can't really. Oh, right. And because they come into work and I just grabbed them, not really realising. Well, we cost more. And the, uh, uh, yeah, well, that's it. But then I didn't want to get in trouble for putting them out there. Yeah. And they were, you know, they were supposed <laughs> to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. The Celtics one, too, is actually a Richie Gidge, but it's that old that it's got a, a yeah, really old tag on it. Yeah. And it's a Larry Bird, too. Oh, that's a cool jersey, it's hey? Vintage, uh, vintage sportswear. Still sweet. I remember my kids used to love these things, like when they came out. Yeah, I hope they come. True Detective, second season. Oh, this would be awesome. Yeah, right. And there's a C of A with this one. There's a C of A with this one too. That's um, who would have been Tom Harley and um, Mark Thompson. That's their signatures as well. Yeah. So this is genuine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. 
Might have got that back on it too, yeah. And you've got a couple uh, of others that you hold, you're holding on to, don't no, you? No, no, no. I had a 2011 that I gifted to someone um, where I used to get the alcohol because I was a barman at the golf club as well. Oh, yeah. And um, he's mad cats too, so I actually got a frame for him and I gifted that one to him. Yeah. Just Put him on that one. And then this doggy's one. What's the story behind this one? Um, Dougie Hawkins. We had Dougie Hawkins and... Um, Billy Brown has come to the club over in Adelaide. Yeah, right. It's Gaza, which is where the Darwin brothers are actually from. Oh, okay. Andrew and Darren. Yeah, right. But they come for a sportsman's night, and what they do is they give us that to auction off for, um, we did it for the juniors to, you know, just put money back in the juniors. Of course, yeah. So he signed it. The guy that actually won the bid didn't want it, so. Oh, wow. I won't tell you what I paid for it, but you're obviously paying over it because it's, it's a sponsor thing. But. Yeah, absolutely. And then actually they come out on the oval with us after, after they had a few drinks and that, and we were having end to end with buddy Dougie Hawkins and Billy Brownless. Oh, wow. And they were sitting there letting us take screamers up their backs. And they love a beer too, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really cool. Now, Five bucks out of Vinnie's, yeah. This is so much stuff. I actually picked up for, for you, because I went to, I got inspired to go to Vinnie's yeah. to buy collared shirts for golf. Yeah, nice. So... Instead of paying 25 bucks for one. Well, I see so many Nike golf polos. I went and grabbed five of them for 25 bucks and I've seen that and I thought, ah, Matt will love that one. Yeah, that's, um, that's an absolute ripper. That's obviously genuine. It's it's AFLW, which people are buying. Exactly. Now, this cat's, um, that's really sweet. I'm surprised you're happy to part with it. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, pretty nuts. Because it's the uh, last. I'd rather get it out there and get it to someone yeah. that's going to be able to put it up and display it sort of They'll thing. frame it and yeah. put it somewhere for yeah. sure. This is obviously a pretty crazy find. Um, fully authenticated as well. We're going to talk price points around this one. I feel like I might be paying up, but it is a pretty yeah, damn good jersey. So we'll see how we go with that one. This is a, an old Walkman. Yeah, mate. Wow. Oh, yeah. in there. I heard. Oh, I've done me research, I know what you guys are looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you certainly have. I actually picked that up uh, with the car alarm. Maybe it's on the table. Yeah. It's just in like a... a Vox. And... Of stuff. Yeah, and I couldn't believe that it all come with that. Looks pretty new. Yeah, wow. That's awesome. Oh, that's really cool, eh? <laughs> Signed by Corey Enright. Corey Enright, yeah. And you've got a 223 limited edition. Yep. That's really the cool. The with that as well, too. So. Do you really? Yeah, that's really sweet. If you can on that. Like I said, I'll give you all a good price. So. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to declutter, mate. I've got that much stuff over the years. you got a heap, hey? Too much. Cool old footy cards, too. And you got these, Jacks. Yeah, I got a couple of those ones. That's sick. Leave you with the um, ones if you're interested in those ones. Yeah, that's, that's nice, yeah. hey? Timmy Duncan, Larry Bird. Yeah, that's cool. Can't believe you found this. That's funny, eh? Ah. Oh, you got some games? Yeah, I did pick up the. Um, there's. Um, I'm not too much in them. But um, that would have been a good one if it was actually in there. The underground one, but it's the, the SmackDown. Oh, in it. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, and then that? What's that? Um, it's for the PS. It's actually PSP in here. Is it? Yeah. It's got a PSP. That's yeah. sick. In good nick and all. Yeah, it's actually not too bad, eh? Oh, that's rad. I don't know if, uh, if the black one or the silver one's more expensive, but mm. I've actually never really seen like a PSP before. Hey? I've only ever had one. I don't yeah. know if it works still or not. I'm surprised nobody's seen it yet. On the I've table? Got, no, no, no. I've left something sitting. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in eyesight. <laughs> okay, that's that's why I'm like. Kind of challenge. Well, you put something good, like really, really, really good. Oh, you'll freak out when you say it. Really? You I freaked out on the Geelong jersey. You will speak. You will spin. Is that under here? No, no, not under there. <laughs> you can't keep asking, Jack. You've got to find it. No, I don't know. Well, there's like a pair of Jordans or something. Look at this, mate. If you stand over here, you can see it. You'll probably see it, and I reckon you've just hit the nail on the head. Jordans? I haven't seen it, Jordan. The box. Is that what you... Oh, them. Is that them? Grab the box and open it. Oh. <laughs> I saw it before. Oh, so I thought it was the box. It's like a little game. <laughs> oh, but it is heavy. The Jordans. Oh, look at those. They're pretty sick. Did you find these? You found them? Mm. Air Jordan Force Ones. Little story, too. I, I, uh, <laughs> when we entered the big bins, the reload, we have to open the lid up. Yeah. 
One day I opened the lid up and I seen a shoebox. So I grabbed a shoebox. Oh, it's size 11. Oh, the actual shoebox had $100, $120 in loose change in it. Wow. So from that day on, if I you see a shoebox yeah. in the top, I always grab it and have a look. And guess what I found? You found them. Oh, that wasn't the one with the money in it. Well, no, 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 oh, okay. no, 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 This one's brand new as well, which is good. It's a good DVD. Just like again, just a random DVD that you wouldn't you wouldn't think much of. What's that? <laughs> I knew that it took someone to be. It's a big R2D2 in there, is it? He's got it. Oh, is it? <laughs> he knows exactly what it is. He's on a remote. <laughs> So you can actually program to walk around and, and stuff like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's epic, eh? Hey? He also does the Does he clean the floors for you? No, unfortunately he doesn't. <laughs> you gotta get it, Jack. Um, I, 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 I scratched it. I was freaking the dog out with it. And <laughs> yeah. it was oh the dog would be freaked. When I first got I had a pick and ease. Uh, he passed back in 2015. What That's kind of a, dog is that? A Pekingese. Pekingese. Um, they're like a. They were a royal Japanese. The one with the flat nose. Oh. Yeah, right. Think way toys. Oh, yeah, Think way is a good brand for. Uh, and then he's copyright TV and Lucas Film. So. A certain wall for this, yeah. What is Pekingese. it? What is it? Pekingese, the type of dog. Back oh, it's like really fluffy. Oh, that's my, actually, that's my picture of my email. That's oh. a picture of him there. Yeah. Well, I want to know what else is under this Spider-Man. That's just the stuff that I got there that I was going to show you. Oh, yeah. Is it an Esky or? That's a little fruit, little, oh, little six-can fridge. Yep. And the, the cord's in there for the... Oh, and it works too, does it? Oh, yeah, she works. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty rad. Alcohol. These are hard to get hold of. Look at that, you can do hot, hot, cold. Oh, yeah. Coke bears? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Found that in the bottom. <laughs> Is that a yo yo? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so now, I've, too, it's yeah. A... I've tried to comp it. I found one with silver flakes in it for 140, I think. Oh, I yeah. oh this is an AFL. Yep. Just going pivot there. Yeah, that's one of a kind, those ones, eh? Oh, this is really what cool. Is, that 1999? is it? So it's. What's the story behind this? Is it in there? Uh, they were given out. Uh, not sure, but they were actually numbered. There was only a thousand of them, I think. 1999. Yeah. If you're a Coke AFL man, you yeah. are yeah. wanting yeah. that die. It's just a couple of Funko Pops that I. Oh yeah. I found we've got a golf trophy. At Golf, it's called the Rocky and Bullwinkle Cup. Right. And I actually won it this year, so oh, nice. I went online, and that's the only one I can find that there's actually two of them. That's how yeah. rare they are to find them both in the same box. Oh, wow. Because everybody, Funko. when they got them, they took them out of the box and yeah. played with them, yeah. and the box got thrown away. So. Yeah. And from what I can tell, with the 80s up the top there, that's when the yo-yos must have been from the 80s. Wow. There'll be nothing on this. So Scott's got a bunch of really cool items. I've just been sifting through here with Jax and we've found a whole heap. I've got a bit of an allocation uh, here on the table and Jax has got a little bit up the back uh, that he's working through with Scott now. So now that we've looked at what we're interested in, it's all about negotiating a price point. So I'm curious to see what Scott's got for some of these items. Let's get in there and we'll work it out. All right, did you say with this you had an authentication? Um, oh, you do? That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, nice. Now, what are you thinking? How much are you talking? If we were to look at this, what would you? To be honest, I've never actually, honestly, come across something that's a premier signed jersey, but I can imagine it would be worth a few hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, without a doubt, and it's obviously authentic. You've obviously got the authentication slip on it as yep. well, so it's a really high valued item. But 
I've got no doubt I'll be able to sell it for a few hundred dollars pretty quickly. Yeah. So it's whatever you want to uh, part with it for. Well, like I said, I'm happy to work with you guys. Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't know. We can, we can leave it for the end. You can, I'll, be, I'll like, you can throw a price at me and I'll, I can decide off that. All right. Leave it to the end? Yep. All right. We'll talk, we'll think about that. Now some, some games. I've got six games on the Xbox. Yep. Um, that I pulled out those ones there. So, is there? Do you want to do a price per the individual game? Like, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, like an average price. I normally pick up games for five bucks. Yep. So I can do five bucks each. No. So that's five, just 10, 15, 20, 20, 30 bucks. So if you're happy with thirty. Yep. We'll do thirty on those. I've got all of these DVDs. Um, now, I've done five dollars for box sets in the past, yep. and then a dollar on individuals. Mm -hmm. So if you want, if you're comfortable with that, we can add that up. Done. For a price, Done. so you'd be looking at do I could do five, six, say seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, say twenty-seven bucks. Twenty-five. Twenty-five on that. Done. Twenty-five on the DVDs. Thirty on the games. So that's fifty-five bucks for that lot there. Um, now this one here, it's, it's quite heavy, so the postage is going to be a fair bit. Yeah. Um, did you have a price in mind? Do you want to move that no, for? Really. It's just it's sitting there and it's never going to get used again. So and it's pretty much in white new condition. Yep. Have you ever used it? Like I said, I, I used, used it that, once. I used it that once. Got annoyed with the game and it went back in the box and it's been there ever since. Um, how about how about fifty bucks? Sweet, done. Have you that? Done. Fifty bucks on that. That should that should go all right for me. I think being brand new. Um, now these two probably not as much as fifty. I'd probably be more like fifteen a piece. Thirty bucks. Yep. Easy. All right. So thirty, eighty, eighty plus fifty-five, one hundred and thirty-five. Yep. So far, this one here. Would you do the five you bought it for? Yeah. Mate. Yep. So one hundred and forty. One hundred thirty-five. One hundred forty or what? So we're at one hundred forty for everything. But we don't have a price for this just yet. The final piece, the biggest piece. We're doing the Cats jersey. Doing the Cats signed jersey and Scott and I are trying to work out a price point. We're at 140. Yep. Just make it 200. Are you sure? Done. You sure? Done. My man, appreciate it. That's unreal. Thank you very, very much. That's incredible. So we're picking this up for 60 bucks. And like I said in the negotiation, there should be a couple of hundred dollars worth of value. So um, Scott, thank you, mate. No worries. That's, uh, that's an incredible buy, and I think we're off to Jack's now to have a look at what he's picking up. Here you go, Scott. Yeah, Fanta's fan yeah, got, fan got the most reserve. 200. Thanks, mate. All yours. Good job. Appreciate it, mate. That's I'm epic. Yeah, no, it'll be there. If it's not, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Just pre association to say thanks for coming down. Oh, really? <laughs> For no, you, it's no. in your collection. No way. <laughs> well, I've seen Scott. the colours you got up there. No way. It all works, but the screen doesn't work. So it's good for you to display until you I can't, I can't take that. I can't take that. Jeez. Just... <laughs> Look at his face. No, I'm going all red, eh? But you are going red. <laughs> That's awesome. You are I'm going, going as red, red as the Game Boy. <laughs> now, I know you like your DVD players. I do. Now, if you have a look, this is probably one of the first models that come out with the actual compact display. Dead set. Man, I, I, we've got to pay you for them. No, no, no. We've got to pay you for them. This appreciation for you guys spending your time, coming down and actually having a picture in my truck. Oh man, Scott, cannot pick it up. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be buying you some beers tonight. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be buying you, you got beers tonight yeah, off us. Of that, you yeah, got beers tonight off us, you're not working tomorrow. Yeah, but I've got to get home. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, no, that's epic. Thank yeah, you very much, mate. I appreciate that. That's awesome. All good. That's some That's unreal awesome. stuff. All good. That's awesome. That's oh, I've, never, I've never in my life seen a red one. I've never seen you as red as you are right now. Is... <laughs> Just as I was leaving, I've ended up grabbing the Dougie Hawkins signed jersey as well. Don't know really why I left that one behind in the negotiations because it's an absolute ripper and uh, it's all fully authenticated as well. We've got an authentication slip uh, with a good photo of Dougie as well right here. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool jersey. He's got some really cool stuff in here, Scott. Uh, and he's been an absolute legend as well. We've, um, I feel like the negotiation has been pretty fair. Scott's had a good win. We've had a good win. We've cleaned out some of his stock. 
And uh, this is honestly what it's all about. Coming to Melbourne, picking through all these op shops is fun, but it's actually connecting with people. Scott's a viewer of the channel. Uh, he watches these videos and he said, man, if you're down in Melbourne, let's go out and have a look at a private pick scenario in his own garage. So um, a huge thank you to Scott. And um, yeah, pretty epic morning.